The rise over run trick is something that allows us to graph a straight line so long as we have a starting point and the slope in the form of a fraction. It's a very easy trick, so we'll do several examples to make sure that we're ready to deal with it no matter how the question is asked. First thing I'm going to do is graph my starting point. Here I have 3, negative 1. 3, negative 1 is right here. So I put a dot and I identify the point. Secondly, I look at my slope. The numerator of the slope is the rise. The denominator is the run. Rise means a vertical distance going up or down. If I have a numerator of positive 3, it means I have to rise by 3. So I choose to signify this with these little lines. Then I do the run. Not from my starting point, but from where I ended up after my rise of 3. I do a run of 2. Run is left or right movement, but it will always be to the right. So from here, I go two spaces to the right. What I arrive at is another point that I know must be on the straight line I'm graphing. All that's left to do is draw the line, and I make sure to draw it all the way through the graph, not just between the two points, and to identify the second point that I found. This second point has an x value of 5 and a y value of 2. So I write 5 comma 2. I'm finished. I have used the rise over run trick to graph a straight line. Let's do a few more examples though to make sure that we're used to how to do this. In this example, my starting point is negative 4, 2. So I graph that and I identify it. Then I do a rise of 2, which brings me up here, and a run of 9, which brings me all the way over here. I have found the second point. I get my ruler, draw a line through the points, identify the second point, which has coordinates 5, 4, and I have graphed my second line. Let's do a few more examples. Here my starting point is 1, 3. So I graph that. My rise this time is negative. When you have a negative fraction, you have to know that the negative sign stays with the numerator. So I have a rise of negative 5. Well, a rise of a negative amount means I am going down, not up. So I go down by five spaces. And my run is four. I still go to the right, I don't go to the left. The denominator is positive. I found a second point that's on my line. Draw my line. Identify that point which has the coordinates five, negative two, and I'm finished. In this one, my starting point is b equals 4. I have to know what that means. In straight lines, b is the y-intercept. So if you have a b equals 4, it means that on the y-axis you go to 4 and you put a dot. The point is actually 0, 4. It's still a starting point. The rise over run trick still works the same way. My rise is negative 3, so I'm going down to here. And my run is 4, so I'm going over to here. Here's my second point. I draw my line, I identify both points on the graph, and I'm finished. So being given a B should not complicate things at all. Here's one last example. In this one I've also been given a B, and it's negative 2, so I know that the point 0, negative 2 is on my line. My slope, though, is not in the form of a fraction. It's a whole number 7. Well, all I have to do is convert that to a fraction, so I have to know that any whole number, if you just place it over a 1, can be expressed as a fraction in that way. My rise is therefore 7, and my run is 1. Rising 7 means going up to here, and a run of 1 means I go over to here. Here's my second point. 
it has the coordinates 1, 5, and all that's left to do is draw my line with the ruler, and I'm finished. I have graphed the line. This is how you use the trick of rise over run.